Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my January empties with you guys. So I've got this nice little clanky bin full of stuff to share with you guys. Some items from my project as well as just other items that we finished up this month. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So I figure I'll go over the project stuff first. I'm sitting on the corner of the bed, so I don't have anywhere else to like put this bin. So it's just gonna be my lap the whole video, at least until I can maybe figure out a better solution. So starting off with stuff for my project, first up is the TPH Vanilla and Tuberose. Love this, you guys know how much I love this. Also, if you want more like in-depth on my project empties, go ahead and check out my update video. I go very in-depth on whether I liked it, repurchase, thoughts, all that fun stuff. So really liked this, I will repurchase, but I go, I go more in depth than the other video kind of thing, but I love this. I also finished the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon Body Wash. It's too smoky, really not my favorite. I finished it, would not repurchase. Now the Dove Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk Scrub, I would repurchase in a heartbeat. This is my favorite Dove Scrub by a mile. The Peppermint Bark one was really nice, but this one's just better. It's just better. It's just the best. <laughs> they need to make body wash. I'm gonna say it until I'm blue in the face. They need to make a body wash of this scent because it's the best Dove scent by miles. Like <laughs> it's so good. Finished the bubbly warm and cozy. This is a nice, very like sweet fruity scent. Really enjoyed it. This is something I would probably purchase in the full size eventually. Like I, I really enjoyed it. Also finished a little Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. This was really good, honestly, I really liked it. It's a very like floral, vanilla, super sweet, super like feminine, really nice scent. I have another one, so obviously like I've already technically repurchased, but really enjoyed it. I finished the Vanilla Scrub from Tree Hut. Really love this scent. My lid was always cracked, so that's why I knew I wanted to like finish it because I can't imagine that would tamper with the product, right? Like a broken, the sticker covers it, but like the lid was broken. So I can't wait to repurchase one that does not have a broken lid. That's gonna be a good time. But yeah, really, really like this one. Highly recommend if you're a vanilla girl like me, it's a really good vanilla. Also finished the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon Mist. So much better than the body wash. The body wash is way too smoky. I'm sorry, guys. There's like a, it's a bag. I'm being all crinkly. But finished this up, really nice. I have the full size, so obviously I've repurchased. I just, I really liked it. Bin's just gonna live behind me for now. <laughs> you guys are just gonna have to deal with that. But so digging into, first off, this was not part of the project, but is the Dr. Teal's coconut oil sea, sea salt. No, bath salt, Epsom salt. I like Dr. Teal's. My favorite one is the almond one. It just smells the best, but this one was really nice too. But in the bag, <laughs> because one product leaked all over the other, so they get to live together in this bag and then they get to go right in the trash. This is my second time touching this one today and I, I hate how gross. So my wrapped in vanilla, I finished. It, it got really gunky. I love wrapped in vanilla. So something I would repurchase if they ever brought it back again, I would get it in a heartbeat. <laughs> And then this is the culprit, but I'm trying to like not also block my face, but the Johnson's oil gel in the cocoa and shea butter. Finished that, it's disgusting. We're gonna just like get you. <laughs> and it's got like little salt remnants all over it too. So it's just, it's a hot mess. That bag is disgusting. But I finished that. Finally, it's been like three or four years in the making, me finishing that bottle. And I do have the aloe one, so I'll probably have that for another like six years. But <laughs> regardless, I enjoyed it, then I hated it, then I enjoyed it again. I go pretty in depth in the other videos, so definitely check that out. But it's finally gone. And I also finished Warm and Cozy. You guys know this is one of my favorites. Definitely like my favorite pink scent. It's just so good. It's vanilla, coconut, and passion fruit, yeah? Yeah, it's vanilla, coconut, and passion fruit. And I love this. I have two full sizes, so it's one I'm always gonna repurchase. And I have a little Marc Jacobs Perfect Lotion. This was a gift from my sister and it was really nice. Honestly, it's a little more flowery, powdery than like my taste. 
and it was like almost a gel like consistency for the lotion which isn't always my favorite consistency it's not the most hydrating but I enjoyed using it. It was fun to play with, fun to try out. I've never owned a Marc Jacobs anything. So this made me feel like real fancy to use my Marc Jacobs lotion. And I used it really fast and I really enjoyed it. All right, so I believe those are all of my project items. So now I can kind of take my time and talk about things. So first up, my husband finished the Care One Sensitive Skin Body Wash. This is just like the Hannaford brand dove sensitive skin body wash he actually said he prefers this one over the dove so that's cool it's cheaper like <laughs> go for it but he really liked it i don't think i ever used it so i can't really speak to it but it smells like soap so <laughs> like i said my husband really liked it he said it's better than the dove and it's also cheaper than the dove so we will definitely continue to repurchase and i finished my little gingham love shower gel this is such a forgettable scent. Oh my gosh. Like if you like it, go for it. Like you can have all the gingham love you want. It's just not for me. It's really pretty. And every time I smell it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And then I forget that it exists. It's not even that I like forget what it smells like. I forget that gingham love was ever a thing. Like, I don't know. So I finished the shower gel. I use this as like a bubble bath. It was really nice. Um, I'm sure once it's gone, like once I've disposed of all of these empties, I'm gonna forget that I ever owned it. Um, I have a mist, I need to use the mist, and then I'm sure it'll be the same thing. I'll forget that I ever owned it. I'll be like, whoa, Gingham Love existed. But that's just, it's just one of those forgettable scents for me. I don't know. It's just another like Bath and Body Works Berry kind of a scent. Really pretty, but again, super forgettable. So I don't typically pull candles into these because it's like, it's usually like, a Walmart brand candle or like a weird candle I bought at Michael's but I finished the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla candle first off there's still like a ton of wax left like I feel like it's like that much is <laughs> still in there but like the wick has burned down to like the little metal bit so like you cannot physically burn it anymore and it doesn't it doesn't come out anymore so that's exciting so once I finally burned it like it set it to the glass <laughs> so that's cool if you guys saw my haul video you'll know what i'm talking about it was nice it was a nice candle it wasn't it wasn't special <laughs> it wasn't spectacular it was nice made the room smell nice again i wish it had a lid for the price it should have a lid like i feel like candles should come with lids i feel like that should just be like every candle should come with a lid because if it doesn't, unless you're like one of those fancy people that has like your little wax dipper, like if you've got the candle kit where you can like trim the wick and like push the wick into the wax so it doesn't like smoke. If, you, if you're one of those people, I wanna be one of those people, I'm not one of those people. So I blow out my candles. <laughs> I pop a lid on and like snuff out my candle. And with this, Thankfully, I had a candle where the lid fit this, so I was able to make that work, but my husband didn't always do that. And then it just immediately, it ruins, it ruins the experience once you blow out a candle. But I would not repurchase, even not even at like $7, honestly. Like it wasn't that great. It wasn't great enough to want another one, sort of thing. I wouldn't even probably do like a love spell. I don't know, like, it was fine. It was a fun little experience. It's a cute little candle. Again, I got it for like seven bucks, but it's originally like 20. <laughs> this is 20. It's a nine ounce candle for $20. But will not repurchase. It was a fun experience, but it wasn't enough to be like, I need more. So I've got like several hair care items to share with you guys. Apparently I was like on top of my hair stuff this month. So first up is the Aveeno Oat Milk Blend Daily Shampoo. Ooh, <laughs> close that right back up. All of the last little bits of shampoo have pooled in the lid. So we're gonna keep that closed. I enjoyed it. I've, this is, was a repurchase. Um, it's a nice shampoo. It's nothing super special. When I wash my hair, I double cleanse every single time mostly because i like how like foamy and fun it gets but i feel like it really cleans my scalp and i don't have like oily hair but i don't wash my hair i wash it twice a week 
So it, it can build up some grime. I use a decent amount of product in my hair. So it helps when you double cleanse. I feel like it really gets sort of like the product build up. But this was nice enough. I've since purchased a different one. I just got like a Dove shampoo for a buck on clearance. So we're using that one right now. It's honestly, <laughs> it's such a small bottle. Like it's going to be gone in like a week and a half. And then I'll have to find a new shampoo. So if you guys have any shampoo recommendations, let me know down below. I'm not willing to spend more than $10 on a single shampoo. I'm really not willing to spend more than like seven. I'm a very cheap girl at heart. <laughs> so I can't do like a Kristen S or a Nexus or Living Proof. Oh my gosh, Living Proof? Living Proof's expensive. Like I look at the bottle and like my heart jumps out of my chest. It's like, I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could. But if you guys have any like drugstore, Garnier, Aveeno, Dove, that level recommendations, I like a good Aussie, but I'm looking for something new once that Dove one's gone in like a week and a half. So I would love to hear your recommendations down below. Like I said, this one's nice, but I'm just like, I'm feeling like trying something new. Also, do you guys think I should try the Method ones that they just came out with? I don't know the price point yet, so I don't know if like my heart can take it, but they've got the rice milk one. Is it the rice milk? They've got the green one, the pink one, and the like grayy, bluey one. I think it's the rice milk, but let me know if I should try that because that's also something that would be fun to try. But basically, I'm just looking for like a, a recommendation because I'm very, whatever with my shampoo like i'll try just about anything something i will not change though is the pantene miracle rescue i love this stuff and i just bought a new bottle oh this is the um the deep conditioning treatment by the way i just bought a new bottle at my grocery store and i don't know that it's the same thing i thought they just like repackaged but it's got i think they call them pro v pearls so it's got like little beads in it that once you like work it into your hair they like burst and release the moisture whatever weird claim that they make so i guess i'm trying that one i it was in the same spot that like this one always was in it was the same price so i don't know if i just grabbed the wrong thing or if they've reformulated i will let you guys know once i've tried that out because i literally just finished this last night so hopefully it's just as good hopefully it's the same thing if not then i'll just go back to repurchasing this i also finished the matching hair mask this is so good oh my gosh like i scraped this tub clean it it just makes my hair so soft and like it hydrates so deeply that like you guys don't see my hair when i don't put product in it this is very much like i put mousse i've got a leave-in conditioner i've got that ava nyc main magic spray in here as well so like any shine and wave and stuff like that is very much from the products i use it's not like i i step out of the shower my hair dries like this it's it <laughs> my husband thinks i'm crazy and put too much in my hair i probably do but i think it looks pretty when it's got a little little wave a little shine this is my preferred look but the other day I used this because I'm very inconsistent in my hair mask use. I just got the Ava NYC one, so I can't wait to try that one out. But I used this the other night and I used a ton. Like I just finished the tub because there wasn't enough for two uses, but it was like, it was a hearty use that I used. And my hair was so soft and like the waves were so defined. It was so pretty. And I'm convinced it's because I used more hair mask like I didn't change anything else up so I don't know hopefully the Ava NYC one is good if not I'll just repurchase this one again that tub is massive so if it's not good then like it's a it's a hefty tub it's like almost double the size of this one it's huge it's like <laughs> it's massive so hopefully I like that one but regardless, highly recommend if you're looking for a good like drugstore moisturizing, it's not super expensive. It's just, I just really like the Pantene Pro-V like Miracle Moisture, Miracle Rescue line. I haven't found something from the line that I don't like. Now, something that I wasn't the biggest fan of was the Pacifica Coconut Milk Detangle Elixir. So the way I use this is like, as a, just like a spray, conditioner leave-in conditioner type thing i don't brush my hair when it's wet and that's the only time i put this in is when it's wet like right out of the shower it's the first thing i put in my hair 
and then I'll go in with like a cream leave-in conditioner and then a mousse. But I thought this was nice. It was very hydrating. I can't speak to like the detangling aspect because like I said, I don't, I don't detangle like when it's wet. I just kind of <laughs> let it do its thing. But this was nice. Um, I don't think I'd buy it again, honestly. The smell is not my favorite. It's, it's that Pacifica coconut scent, which just isn't my favorite. It's almost like a Play-Doh-esque vibe, but this was nice. Um, made my hair really soft. Ava NYC is better. I just, I love the main magic. That's my favorite stuff. I also really like the Pantene Miracle Rescue leave-in conditioner. That's a really good one too, but I prefer when they've got like this kind of a pump. I just find it's easier to actually spray the product, but Regardless, this was nice, not something I'd repurchase. All right, so moving on to some skincare empties. First up is the Facetory Overnight Mask. You guys know how much I love these. I pretty much just cycle through all four of them. This is the Star Velvet Sleeping Mask. It's the vitamin C one. I love them. They make my skin just so soft and hydrated. I literally love all four of them. So it really doesn't, I'm using the blue one right now. And then I'll probably use, you know, the pink or the purple or whatever, just cycle through what I have. I love like the heft of this plastic. Like it's, it feels more luxurious. <laughs> and like, this is like five or six bucks. I bought a four pack for like 20 ish, I think maybe 24. So super inexpensive. And they're just such high quality product. <laughs> like I, I'm never gonna not use these. These are just, fantastic. I cannot rank them like highly enough. They're so, so good. I finished the Versed, the Purest Antioxidant Cleanser. This, when I first started it, I didn't love it, but as I used it more, I really grew to enjoy it. I have repurchased this. It just, I love using it in the shower. I like will remove my makeup with it and then call it a night. Like this is a one and done product for me. I also use like the e.l.f. makeup melt, which finished up as well. I love this. But for the most part, I was just using this. It's just a really nice cleanser. I don't feel like it like strips my skin. It, it makes my skin feel good, honestly. So like I said, I've repurchased this. I really enjoy it. And then the e.l.f. Makeup Melt. Yeah, Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. That's a name. Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Can't they like shorten that? That's a mouthful. But I really love this. This is my favorite way to remove my makeup. If I'm not like using this, then I'm using this. I, I love both of them. I have the jumbo tub. It's <laughs> massive. I love it. And it's gonna last me till the end of time. But this is, like I said, my favorite way to remove my makeup. It's just super easy. It doesn't irritate the skin or the eyes. I just, I really enjoy it. I also finished the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen. This is like the more blurring looking one. I liked it. Um, it's very blurring. It looks, it makes my skin look really cool. Like, I don't know a better way to describe it. It's very blurred. It just looks really cool. But I prefer the Woe Glow one. That's what I'm wearing. Any like dewiness you see is from the Woe Glow. I just, I just prefer that one. This one, it's just, it's almost too blurring. Like it didn't, it killed any life that my skin had. <laughs> so the Woe Glow gives more life to my skin. Definitely prefer that one. And then the last like skincare item is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Nutrient Mist Facial Spray with Floral Blend. It's something I got on clearance at my local grocery store. I don't know if they still sell this. It was a very floral heavy scent. So really not like my favorite. Oh, the bottom looks gross. Ew, was I spraying that on my face? It's like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like the bottom's like, that looks disgusting. Oh my gosh, I used this entire bottle. Oh, <laughs> ew. <laughs> so um, maybe I would never repurchase. It doesn't smell good, first and foremost. I don't know if that's because it was old or if that's just such a heavy floral scent, but it was the mister. The mister was a plus. It was, well, now it, it obviously isn't misting, but it's a very like smooth, even mist. But I just, I prefer the Mario Badescu. I've got one that's almost gone in my medicine cabinet and then I have a replacement one as well. So this was fun to try, but like looking at the bottom, like <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have tried it. That was pretty nasty. <laughs> so the two hand creams I finished were Strawberry Pound Cake and Dream Bright. I love Strawberry Pound Cake. This one was getting a little, 
a little questionable. It was very yellow, but it was also getting a little chunky. Same with the Dream Bright, honestly. It was starting to get a little chunky too. But yeah, you can see there's like the teensiest bit left. But it was it was just starting to get a little funky, very yellow. Both still smelled fine, so I used them and I enjoyed them. I would get the Starberry Pound Cake again once I've worked through some of my others. I'm at the point where like in my collection in general, I want to finish up some more stuff before I start repurchasing things, unless it's like an absolute love. Like that TPH, I, I knew I wanted another one immediately, but like Starberry Pound Cake, I can wait a little while to get another hand cream. Then the one pocket back I finished was Strawberry Snowflakes. This is my least favorite form of Strawberry Snowflakes. I think it's just the alcoholy pocket back hand sanitizer vibe, but it just, I don't know, it didn't smell good. It didn't smell nearly as good as every other Strawberry Snowflakes thing. So would not repurchase the pocket back, but literally anything else in the scent I would repurchase. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.